Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Kingdom of Loathing. Last episode, we finally, finally unlocked the pyramid after completing the Staff of Ed, and I did some stuff off screen to advance this quest. And now, we've made our way to the rubble stairway, lit our bomb, and put our fingers in our ear and ran away. We come back, the rubble is gone, and the stairs lead into a dark hole in the ceiling of the chamber. Oh! You're finding Ed the Undying. Step in the chamber and discover a large stone sarcophagus, elaborately engraved and inlaid with gold. It takes all your strength to leave her off the lid, but you soon get it open and discover the object of your quest, a holy MacGuffin radiating with its own inner light. Rest in the hands of a large mummy wrapped in bandages of ancient silk and wearing a gold filigreed crown. Step back to the sarcophagus and ready your weapon. Alright, let's get on with it, you say. I know for a fact you're going to harm my life and attack me as I take the MacGuffin, so get to the chase. Oh, you're no fun at all, says the mummy as it sits up and peers at you with a frown. In my day, adventurers knew to stick to the script. So it's been a ridiculously long quest and I'm cranky. Feel free to make whatever menacing speech you had prepared. Well, thank you. Let me clear its throat and rises malevolently out of the sarcophagus, its eyes glowing with anger. Foolish mortal, it booms. You dare to disturb the slumber of the mighty Ed the Undying? Ed? Not like Ed Ra or Ed Hotep or something? I don't know, never much for fancy titles. You ready? I gotta warn you, the uh, the undying thing's for reals. I got the ancient magic of the ages going on here. I'm uh, seriously gonna grind you into paste. The jackal demons, the owner will be feasting on your entrails and such like that. Give your best shot, old man. I'm gonna knock you back into the Stone Age. Uh, it was the Bronze Age, actually. Whatever. Ed bashes you in the face with a bony fist. The bandages wrapped around it soak up some of the blood. Let's just smack him. All right. We did it. Let's grab it. Oh. I found something that can resist my power. Someone that is not killed in one hit because they can't die. Step over the mummy's fallen husk and reach for the MacGuffin in the sarcophagus. It's nearly within your grasp and you feel a bony grip on your ankle. Not that easy, kiddo. I'm dying, remember? Hell, you mutter. I was hoping you were bluffing. Nope. All right. Ooh. Ed grabs you by the throat and strangles the life out of you. Not all of it, but some. Uh, he collapses to the ground and lies still. Look down at the battered mummy and warily. Still alive? Yep, be with you in a sec. You watch as it gets to its feet and leans to the sarcophagus as it catches breath. Okay. You ready to give up yet? Jackal demons, remember? Not hardly. Ed's eyes glow with anger as he picks himself up off the floor. Now I'm ticked. Now I'm ticked, said Ed. Look, Ed, give it up. You've got an arm off. The holy MacGuffin is mine. You will never defeat Ed the Undying Mortal. Jeez, man, take a pill. All right, he leans on the sarcophagus, panting heavily, and turns towards you with an angry glare. He growls in inarticulate fury, his eyes blazing, though not as brightly as before. Come on, dude, this is ridiculous. I'm dying! <sighs> as Ed reels, you smash his legs with a sweeping blow. There, maybe now you'll never! Never? You're fighting at the end, dying. <sighs> Moans the mummy, shambling pathetically towards you. You make him feel guilty, Ed. Knock it off. You get the jump on him. No kidding. Your blow appears to have severed Ed's torso. He claws his way towards you with his one remaining arm. Arrgh. Stay down, damn you. <laughs> you sweep Ed's remains into a corner of the room, ignoring his groans and curses, and step to the sarcophagus. MacGuffin rests within is as you pick it up, you're bathed in its radiant, shimmering light as a choir of angels triumphantly sings your praises and stuff. And you cram in your pack and head back for town. That's pretty good. That's pretty funny. That's peak Kingdom of Loathing right there. Gotta say, I ended up with more health than I started. That's embarrassing, Ed. Wow, you actually brought back the Holy MacGuffin. That's impressive. No, done. We can pack it in an unlabeled wooden crate in a secret warehouse full of similar crates somewhere that likely no one will ever see it again. Thanks for your help. That's it, you ask? That's anticlimactic. Yeah, you're right. You like parades? Sure. After one thick, uh, quick, though enjoyable ticker tape parade later, you're back and staying in front of Council Hall, picking bits of confetti out of here and wondering what you should do next. Nice. We got a handful of confetti. That's, that's pleasant. I got a parade thrown for me. Let's take a look at that. Oh, it gives me spooky damage. That's good. So should I like sell this thing? Maybe I'll need it for like the final, final quest. Handful of confetti. Uh, colorful bits you save from your ticket tape parade. Toss it into the air with a cheer. Ooh, go me. 
and carefully pick up the bits because real heroes know that littering isn't cool. That's uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, um, let's go here. You're fighting a lamezor noob, dude. You're so lamezor. Wow. This oh, an anime smile. Never mind. I was gonna say that this doesn't didn't age well, but then again, look at this. In this combination of six uh, shift plus six and the underscores mutated into a greenish face. OMG kawaii. We got tasty fun good rice candy. And three three four scroll. Oh, this is a spam witch. You look into the seductive creature's eyes and feels that she can make your sword longer, your bank account bigger, your waist smaller, and show you the habits of barnyard animals. You resist her charms. Yeah, we were supposed to come here way earlier, huh? Considering the eight beefiness these people are killing me, giving me. A meat begs are. Could someone give me meat, please? Anyone? Oh, we got a meat vortex. What does that do? Uh, <laughs> you place it on the ground and set it to spinning. It sucks meat out of your wallet and vanishes in a puff of annoying. Fuck you! I just took my money. <laughs> okay. A quest, lol. Is there any way I can, like, set this to my... That makes me feel better. Seeing all the completed ones. Highland Lord, Baron of Rothelmau in... Rothelmfau. Overrun by monsters. Fight your way through them to the f gates of the Baron's Fortress. I wanted to see what all these do. Oh, two of them will give me... Oh, interesting. So does... Oh, it gives me damage reduction, but regeneration. I like regeneration. What about the mummy mask? <laughs> Perfect thing to wear if you wanted to scare the crap out of Brendan Fraser. Fuck Mr. Beast. That's pretty good. All right. Yeah, I have no idea what to do about these. Let's, uh, where's the island of mystery or what have you? I've only been recording for like seven minutes and I already f defeated like one of the hugest bosses, right? I love, by the way, I love bosses where, uh, Their uh, their phases are are easier as they go. Okay, quests. A quest, lol. Acquire a dictionary. Okay, I need two of these, one of these, and one of these. And I think I have a dictionary. Can I use the dictionary? An XXX prawn, a shellfish who's been sucked in the steamy underbelly of adult marine life entertainment. You hope his trench coat stays closed. <laughs> he takes spelling damage and I got a lowercase n. Nice. A flaming troll. Brimstone, hulking body, and dragon claws. And the sound of, shut the fuck up, dude. You're the suck. Must be a flaming troll. <laughs> well, he got me a little bit. Because, you know, he hurt me. Troll house cookies. Nice. A dragon ball hat. Oh, my God. A 1335 Haxor. Someday he will be leet, but it is not this day. Right now he's got a ways to go, yeah. That's funny. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I guess I'm just doing that, right? Okay. Um, oh, we got another one. Cool. I only need a. F I only need one more scroll, right? So I may as well just try to. What the fuck does waffle mean? How is Babby formed? You decline to enlighten him. A 
I should probably just hit them with my thing, right? I forgot about this quest and accidentally went to it far, far too late. Please give me another scroll. Okay, a different scroll than that one. What's the point of a meat vortex then? Does it have, I guess it's probably a combat add-on, right? Yes, dear? My wife is in another room during her their, uh, binge on Hannibal. And away she goes. I love you too. <laughs> oh, I combined these. I see. Okay. Well, then let's craft some stuff. Let's combine... Hmm? Money? Okay. Smith stuff, maybe. No. This is... Oh, it has a thing. Oh, you use them on it. Okay, that's clever. That's actually rather clever, in fact. I don't mind that too much. Just wish I could get the fucking scroll I need. Okay, so we need one of you. Your grinding gears is you feed the 3669 into a slot. And then, oh wait, this one. You acquire an item, 64067. Cool. I just, I, I, I keep getting the scrolls that I don't need and I need the one that I do need. Oh boy. Bro, okay. Let's take a look. At our quest log. Nate War not oh wait. Okay. Where's the uh this one looks fun. What is this? I always love elves. Everyone knows that by now, I'm sure. Oh, I never did this, did I? Oh, me and my nemesis, huh? Over. Well. Okay. I think I already have this, right? Scalp of Gorgolock. Yeah, I already got that then. Okay. So I should be like... The... Where is this? Oh my god, why am I so stupid? Oh, my brain isn't working. Okay. Let's also take a look at Matt McLarge shoes. Yeah, I don't I don't even remember where I was in these quests. This is honestly a little embarrassing, if I must say. But that's okay, everyone makes mistakes. Um I might cut it short. Well, Let's take a look back at the quest log. One more time. Okay. Delivery service. Make war not. Oh, wait. Okay. So. Is it not in here? Okay. This is the Mysterious Island quest. I see. Oh yeah, 
So this happens when I'm level 12 then, huh? Do they have another one for me? No, okay. Well, how do you get to the mysterious item? Okay. Mysterious Island of Mystery. I got here originally. I've totally forgotten how to even get here. Huh. How confusing. Okay. Is it here? No. Oh yeah, I have these. I wonder what these will give me. Let me just crack these open. Vodka, ice cubes, and barbed wire fence. Nice. Whiskey, shells, and God, dynamite. <laughs> Even better. All right, I'm like stupid here. How do you get to the fucking island? Yeah, I feel like really stupid. Okay, I already did that. That's long since done. It's not a desert beach. It's not here. Oh, wait, do I need to talk to you to get the boat? Okay. Both outfits are available. Okay. Oh, boy. This is... I, I, I feel so dumb. Why can't I get to where this is? Council of Loathing. Where's the mysterious island of mystery? You need a dingy dingy junk junk skeletal skiff and buoyant tank for Pete's motorcycle or a yellow submarine. Oh, of course. Fuck. All right, how do I get pixels? Okay. By a puck man. Okay. Just by that then, huh? Okay. Well, hmm. How about one of these? Obtained from dingy 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 plant. Oh my god. Of course. And now we get one of these from the general store. Of course. Oh, I was so stupid. But now I'm smart. All right. Let's get some muscle. Let's get some muscle. Check out the gift shop. Dingy plans. Yes. Perfect. The clan. No, fuck. Never. It's never that. I always go to the wrong place. Fuck. The general store. Dingy blanks, of course. And now we find them. We just need... Yes. Dingy plans. Blueprints to tell you how to make a dingy. If only I had some planks. I do have planks. We make a dingy dingy. Oh, man. That was such a 
that was a series of stupid, stupid things. And now we can go to the mysterious island of mystery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. Let's have a drink. And I'm going to go there next week. I fucked up this fucking episode because I didn't. God, I'm so stupid. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Anyway. I've been Alfred. This has been Kingdom of Loathing. Please play this game better than I did on your own. God. <sighs> See you guys next week.